Welcome to My Life from Coasters, where today I'm coming to you from Breen Theme Park in Somerset. Yeah, so we've only popped in here quite quickly on our way back from our Cornwall and Devon holiday. You can check out all the vlogs. We were meant to be going to Creeley, but the weather weren't great, so we thought, you know what, let's come to Breen. So yeah, down here at Breen Theme Park then, talking down here to Crazy Loop, is what it used to be known as, but um, it's currently going to be Bulldog Coaster soon, um, but yeah, it's not open yet. Uh, we've not actually bought wristbands or anything, I've got 17 tokens, so yeah, I'm going to go on Magic Mouse in a minute. Um, yeah, you've got that, and then there's an indoor coaster which isn't open, so a lot isn't open. So that is why we haven't made a day of it and we've just popped in. Like Caterpillar's not working, Astro Storm's not working. That used to be it from England. And I, yeah, I'll show you around, um, show you what rides are going. POV. Well, if you go around in the screen, then that can't talk. All right. <laughs> Interesting. It's got like a house thing. It's got like a. I've never seen. It's like a gazebo. <laughs> Are we going to trim a lot or not? Back of Astro Storm. <laughs> Pontins over there, I think. Yeah, that's Pontins. Look at you actually, Pontins. Right, so I've just come off of the Magic Mouse spinning coaster and I've actually been on a couple of rides. I've put some POVs in uh, variously. You saw I went on the Caterpillar, did the Ghost Train, um, and then I just did Magic Mouse. I couldn't get POV on that, but it's really good actually. I haven't done one of them in a while. Um, yeah, two creds already. Uh, well good. So yeah, I'm just walking around here now. I'm gonna have a look at the Ultimate, Ultimate, sorry. But you've got over here some games, some food, the Ghost Train, I will give you bit more of a walk around only gonna do a quick one maybe half an hour on this vlog um yeah uh nice to come in here yeah, yeah so uh next i'm going on ultimate i think uh i'll walk around here Is that cred over there no it's a uh, thingy boat yeah you got a log flume i probably won't go on that I, i've done loads i don't want really to be paying to go on one really I don't mind doing them when they're like in a wristband or something, but when it's using credits, I think I'd rather do ultimate. Well, I say rather, might do ultimate. I've never done something like this before. I've done the um, 
what's it called the the spin the ones that don't do anything other than stay flat these swing that's the difference yeah they do look quite intense though maybe a bit too intense for me although i'm quite good on the intense rides and they don't go upside down as long as they're working right this is x factory which isn't working at the moment um it's listed as closed oh yeah i think i think it's having some technical if issues at the minute but the restraints look quite small on this one i mean just look at that yeah calor gas there lovely kmg oh it's kmg miami yeah t I got jet spin which I find really interesting for a park this size to have a massive Zampoli disco actually not necessarily the size I'm talking about the uh, travel uh, travelability I guess I've never seen one of these travel and they don't uh, this is a really tiny one actually um, actually this one's really small because some of them this, this has got to be smaller than the Legoland one I'd really go on this I love one of these uh, you've got an actual jet ski as well So I'm going to be giving Disco Fever a go, which is Minions themed. Uh, really good, I do like Minions. But unfortunately, Astro Storm is closed. Now this is an indoor roller coaster. Um, now this is what I mean, this wasn't a purpose visit. We, we'd got on the M5, we were going home and we just thought, why not pop into Bring? Because it's some days you'd have to buy a wristband, I think. Um, so yeah, we've come in when you can buy a fun card. Now, how much this cost was five credits per person to get in, um, but I can use all of them myself. Actually, no, the one I have to give a go is Orbiter. May the fourth, may the force be with you. But yeah, I do love these rides, and I love how little restraint they've got in them. So I'll give Orbiter a go. Um, yeah, I've done Magic Mouse. It was a decent little ride. What else have we got? We've got Crazy Loop, yeah. Um, this is actually undergoing a massive refurbishment to Bulldog Coaster. Now, I believe this, I'm not sure, uh, it might just be a rumour, having some safety issues with it or something. Um, not, not, obviously, it wouldn't have operated unsafely, but like it was getting old. So I believe they may have put some new track on it because it is old. Um, it's from Flamin Flamingo Land, I think in the 1980s. So yeah, old. Old ride, but it looks really good because it's. Unlike your Pinfaris, it's got a lot of layout, and then loop isn't too high. Right, so I'm looking at Jet Spin again. Uh, that, yeah, I've realised it is a lot smaller. You've also got a big wheel on that over there. Um, you've got like a spinning flat ride that goes up and down if i knew that that was here i'd have probably have gone on it but it's like a surprise and i don't tend to go on it things like that when i'm not sure on them but anyway right i've got probably going to do disco fever and orbiter and i don't think jet spin is working there's a cool drop tower and stuff that one's got a um, cool theming on it uh what else have we got the ghost train as you saw at the start Really good, but too short. I mean, there was three pound. I think it was a two pound ride, just for how short it was. It's packed full of theming, though. Um, but to be fair, I prefer something dragged out because there was so much theming in there. I couldn't necessarily enjoy it all so much. Um, yeah, here you go, Magic Mouse. I did actually see when uh, Sean came here from Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, they walked round, and everything was ninety minutes, and I thought. That's mad, I can never do that. I mean, 30 for pretty much all of these rides, unless obviously the creds, then I'll queue whatever they are. Um, but yeah, walking over here to show you this ride. I probably would do this because it's like an after breaker, whatever it's called. Break dance, no, break dances at Coney Beach. But yeah, we will hopefully be going to uh, the Pleasure Beach at the end of the week because I wanted to get back there since I first went. Love some of the rides, so iconic. Yeah, I'll show you the prices. So Breen do have a website. It shows all your opening times for this theme park. Um, there's more prices. 
Um, yeah, that drop tower's going now. I might go do it. It's quite high for me, though, to be fair. Uh, I'm joking, of course. Uh, yeah, there's that. Oh, it's called Wipeout here. But yeah, quite a pretty quick vlog, a couple of POVs, tour around. I was only going to do one ride, but then we got here, we had to buy the credits. So, yeah, Breen theme park. Lovely. I hope I can keep this souvenir. Right, walk over here. I'll get some more credits in a minute. Um, yeah, there's that drop tower. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the whole walk around. So the furthest thing down there is that coaster. That's coaster end, I guess, because you've got the Caterpillar, Astro Storm, Crazy Loop, Magic Mouse. So we'll call it Bulldog Coaster soon. Um, so yeah, four credits here. So I only thought there was three. Um, I didn't know about the key uh, Magic Mouse. Yeah, uh, four credits. It's definitely worth coming down here. It depends where you live, though, because if you're up north, I understand Breen's a long way. It's barely day triple because it is 200 miles for us. But as I say, we're on our way back from somewhere. Oh my god, the air time, that looks really good. Might have to give that a go. Um, I'll, I'll probably do one of these in Blackpool or something, I imagine. Oh, flip, I've just revealed a trip. Uh, get away. No, we're definitely not going to Blackpool. Uh, no. Yeah, we are. Uh, I'll talk about it probably later in the vlog. But yeah, because we couldn't do Creeley, we had next weekend. We're trying to get to Blackpool. We're just going to price everything up, work out time and everything, because it will be a... It's a mega trip to Blackpool. It's 250 miles, like five hours. So, yeah, it's a lot It's a lot to do. But I'm missing the big one. I'm missing Icon. Right, I'm just walking down to the scary ride. Right, I don't know if I'm gonna go on this, but it is working anyway. I might just give it a go, because I'll never do them otherwise. walk over here now i think i think we are going to blackpool to be fair uh, we found a hotel like for like 50 quid with breakfast which is really good um obviously two days we're thinking of driving up on the friday night uh staying in a hotel having breakfast and going to blackpool pleasure beach and then driving back saturday night but the saturday night drive back it just sounds unpleasant because this is 200 miles away yeah, I'm just not sure on it, really. It's going to be a whole lot of sitting in the car for a day at Pleasure Beach. I'm going to get eight credits, I think. Oh, seven. I'm not sure. Um, um, yeah, so I'm trying not to do too many rides, to be fair, because what we've got, Jet Spin, this one. I definitely need to do th this one, because I haven't done one of these since Adventure Islands one went. Um, jet Spin, I can do that at South End. It's the crazy frogs I think I should give a go as well. If I get seven credits, I think that's the best thing, because a lot is three credits. So say I can't go on this, I'll go on something else. So I'm going to go and buy seven or eight credits, get my fun card topped up. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, then we'll head back home, because still 100 to 200 miles, sorry. Um, we are up by Bridgewater on the M5. We have just come from uh, Devon. Right, I'm going to go and buy me credits. Right, so I've just done a couple of rides, one on the swings and one on Vortex. Talk a bit more about them in a minute, after I've been on the Ultimate. Right, so first negative thing then, yeah, right, so it's about half three. Um, I've obviously bought the fun card. I'm gonna do this all day. Gone to buy the tokens and they're shut. I mean, this isn't stated anywhere that if you're on fun card, you can't buy half an hour before the park shuts, which, and the fact that it's, the hours have already been cut four hours. Uh, four, or four, three or four hours, the hours have been cut anyway. Um, and then they've shut the booth early. 
I'm just not a massive fan about um, because if you have bought one of these um, yeah just know that you won't be out if you want to be last minute you won't be able to use it on the things or top it up so yeah that's really not great I mean Breen is quite good for what I've seen the staff are quite friendly rides are run okay so I'm going to check out the construction now of the new roller coaster bulldog coaster I say new it's not new um, yeah it's been since 1980s just not at this park for that long it was here as crazy loop for a long period of time yeah it's been rethinked for the coast having a full refurbishment and i've got some exclusive on the opening day so i'm over here at a construction site for a brand new coaster um oh it's really flooded i'm going to show you well everything that's going on and the exclusive suspected opening time uh, realistically yeah so see around here is a little bit of track missing right at the very end right there I can't, I can't yeah that truck is just down there as well so a bit of track missing and then again the evac platform for the lift hill isn't in uh, and then the, some evac platforms I think for the block brakes aren't in as well so yeah realistically the opening date for this um, is looking like this is what I was told the six weeks holidays um, in the UK so summer holidays for this coaster and I, I got I back that up really from what I can see July I'm gonna go early July for this because while you look at Nemesis and other coasters can be built in way quicker time ground up this is an old ride that needs a lot of maintenance a lot of safety checks so yeah realistically I'm gonna go six weeks holidays too um, yeah there you go all the evac stuff here it's a long time away so that is where um, I'm going to finish the video. Thank you guys for watching. No, it's been a short one. It's just a, basically a service station for us, but still, bye.